So we are at Cabana Bay, the Universal Orlando Resort. We are so excited. We've been looking forward to exploring this resort for such a long time. I mean, look at our view. There's a volcano. Which, by the way, is Universal's water park, Volcano Bay. And here to join me, of course, is none other than my mom, Joni Conway. And she's really excited because this is kind of a retro hotel, right, mom? <laughs> so we dressed accordingly, as you can see. Well, we'd better get going because we have a lot to cover. Follow us along, why don't you, to Cabana Bay. Okay, first up, we're gonna start in the hallway. Like we're actually just like going to the room, like it's the start of our trip. It's not the very start of our trip, but we're just gonna give you guys the overall experience, you know? And mom here is gonna demonstrate for us. There we go. We're walking into the room. And here it is. Okay, first up, we have to show you guys this bathroom because it is amazing. Look how pretty it is. Look at the, the blue color scheme. We love it so much. There's a lot of space at the sink, a lot of drawers, as you can see, but the best part of all is that there's zest soap. Okay, who out there remembers zest bath bar? Mom does. <laughs> Like we said, it's a very retro hotel, so they have retro soap, of course. And even, what do we have here? What's this? <laughs> it's VO5. VO5? Okay, so VO5 cream rinse. Does it work well? <laughs> I don't know, but normally you'd get the shampoo too. Oh, okay, we just have a lot of cream rinse. So. <laughs> <laughs> Our hair will be extra shiny, I guess. Okay, time to go into the shower. As you can see, there's no bathtub, just so you guys know. But it's a nice big shower. Very echoey, let's see here. Ooh, look at the tile, really nice. And as you can see, there's more VO5 cream rinse. We're not gonna run out of that stuff. Now you can get a room with a bathtub if you need one, just so you guys know. Also, big mirror, of course, <laughs> if you need to check out your outfit before you go to the parks, as my mom and I usually do. Okay, and here are the beds. Look at this bedspread. That's really pretty. Very retro. It's so kitschy, you guys. I love the bright colors. Yeah, we love the vibrant uh. colors. Like, look at the walls. Like, look at all of that. It's pretty. And this is a very Instagram friendly hotel, by the way, I see a lot of bright, colorful walls. So if you're looking to get that Instagram photo, obviously my mom is, <laughs> there's a lot of places to get a photo. And here we have a TV, of course. <laughs> as you can see, we stocked up on water. And as you can see, we had a cheeky drink the other day, <laughs> a little bit of wine. Also, there's a coffee maker, just so you guys know, very important to us. <laughs> and it even comes with some coffee. And there's a little table here if you want to do some work on your vacation. Although I don't think I'm going to be editing any videos this trip. I'm probably going to do them all when I get home. But this is also a nice place just to sit and have a cheeky glass of wine or maybe your coffee in the morning. And look at that light. That's pretty retro looking, don't you think, Mom? Totally. <laughs> I love these green chairs. Yeah, the green chairs. Here, let me move my bag. Yeah, take a look at this chair. That's, that's definitely very retro, like my mom said. Also retro is Gizmo over here, which I bought at Universal. <laughs> He's, I guess, retro from the 80s, I would say for sure. This is so cute. Don't feed him after midnight though, mom. <laughs> no, absolutely. I would keep him away from the bright light. Oh, sorry, Gizmo, sorry. Here, here you go. But best of all, we saved the best for last. Get a load of this view. Look at this. This, as I said, is Volcano Bay. It's a pretty sunny day today. We've hit some cold weather, but yeah, we hit the jackpot with this view. <laughs> look at that pool. Look at all those, those water slides. This is crazy. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if we'll make it to Volcano Bay this trip. It's just been very, very cold, and we, we went to Epcot the other day. We've been hitting the Universal Parks. But I guess that gives us a reason to come back, as we say, right, Mom? Okay, we're going to say goodbye to Volcano Bay for now, and I think we're going to show you guys the rest of the resort, which we are excited to see. We haven't even seen a lot of the resort, so... We haven't. We're going to have a bit of a wander. Also, FYI, everybody, I wanted to show this to you guys. These are our room keys. 
And this is amazing. We have Seuss Landing here. Look how cute that is. We also have, I got Velocicoaster <laughs> with the Raptor. And my dad got the ET card. And this is what the room keys look like. That's a nice touch, don't you think, Mom? And we get to keep them we for do. a souvenir. Oh, nice. So we can always remember our stay at Cabana Bay. I know. Bay. We got to come back. Also, I wanted to show you guys the carpet because <laughs> it's so pretty and fun and so retro looking. And also, we have the linoleum here in the bathroom. Like, look at this. I'm going to try to go up close. It's so sparkly and, <laughs> and pretty. That's very retro, isn't it, Mom? <laughs> My mom had it in oh. her kitchen, not in blue, but it was gold. But it was there, gold. Oh, that's interesting. That's a choice. <laughs> I know. Okay, without further ado, we are gonna show you guys the rest of the resort. Okay, we're heading to the elevator. Again, look at the ground. It matches my mom's dress, actually. Oh <gasps> my gosh. Maybe you should just sit on the ground and we'll take a photo of you, mom. I know, right? <laughs> actually, I am gonna get a photo of my mom at this orange wall, cause it, it matches her dress, as you can see. <laughs> okay, mom, smile for Instagram. All right, let's go, mom. Here we go. So tell me, is this a retro elevator? Um, I'm not quite thinking it's, it's there. just it's an elevator elevator it's your yeah. basic yeah. elevator okay we're gonna head to the main lobby which is a slight walk from where we are but we're over at the tower which has the view of volcano bay and that's what we wanted so we're super happy okay so we're heading towards the main lobby but i just wanted to show you guys the outside of the resort because look at these colorful walls and this color scheme it's so retro and cute it literally just looks like one of my mom's dresses. That's what I keep thinking, <laughs> like with the color what? scheme. I am in heaven here. Seriously, this <laughs> is my place. Yeah. These are my people. <laughs> but I feel like you would just camouflage into any of these walls, mom. I know, right? <laughs> and look at this. This just looks like a giant domino. <laughs> it's windows, uh, circle windows, but aren't I right? <laughs> you are 100% right. They used to do that a lot. Oh, I see. FYI, this is the first thing you see when you drive into the resort. This is definitely very iconic and cute Cabana Bay Beach Resort. Yet another great Instagram photo spot, I think. But we have something else to show you guys, too. So they have some retro cars over here, such as this one right here. And what kind of car is this, Mom? It's a Chrysler Imperial 1958. Ooh. And look at the kitschy luggage in the oh. back. Oh, there we go. Retro luggage for your retro resort, I guess. And not only that, but let's check this out. This model was featured in Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. And what is this? This is a Thunderbird. This is a Thunderbird. Oh, I love this car. Can I have it? I know, right? Oh <laughs> Need my Need a new gosh. car? And this model was featured in the Queen of the Nile episode of the Twilight Zone. Ooh. Okay, we have to show this vehicle right here. And what is this, Mom? Country Squire Station oh Wagon. Oh my gosh, it's a station wagon. This just screams retro. Look at this. Okay, Mom, you seem to be the car expert. What is this? Chevrolet Impala. This one is 1961, and it was featured in the movie, this model. It's a mad, 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 mad world. One of my favorite <laughs> old time movies. Oh, I mean, it sounds like a great movie. I wanna see it. <laughs> Plus we have more of that retro luggage back there. Gotta love it. Okay, time to go to the lobby. I love these mats. I wonder if they sell them. Those are really cute. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see when you walk into the main lobby. Look at this. As you can see, the color scheme is just so beautiful and so retro looking. Plus they have retro music playing in the background, of course. Yeah, that looks like a nice comfy chair. I love this whole center area right here with the palm trees and the top with like the ceiling. So as you can see, there's a bar over here, which usually mm -hmm. stays open till 11, but on I think Friday and Saturday, it stays open till 12. And this is the Swizzle Lounge. How cute is that? 
It's not open at the moment, but my dad and I got a drink here last night and it was really good. I got a margarita and he got a Bloody Mary. This is a cute bar. Looks like there's some TVs too. Plus there's plenty of space over here to just bring your drink and sit down for a bit. You can even bring food here, which is what we did last night, but more on that later. So as you can see, check-in is just to the right when you walk in and to the left is the gift shop. If you wanna do some shopping at the resort, something my mom and I are really good at. <laughs> so let's take a look. And what do we have here? It looks like a lot of universal stuff. So if you're a Hufflepuff or a Ravenclaw, or a Gryffindor, you can get your own little mug or shirt to match. If you realize, oh no, I didn't bring a universal shirt to wear to the parks. <laughs> well, they got you covered. They have everything you could ever hope or dream for here. Let's see, oh, I love this Hufflepuff shirt. Check this out, mom. Oh, there, mom, Gryffindor. There I am. That, that's your house. <laughs> that would look cute on you, actually. The colors Aww. are pretty. Oh, I saw these earlier. It looks like they have Hufflepuff and, and Ravenclaw and Gryffindor spirit jerseys is what they look like. These are really cute. It has the words on the back. And this is what the front looks like. I actually bought the Hufflepuff one. $65. 65. Not bad. You know, for Disney a nice it would be quality. about 85, mm -hmm. so that's not bad. And check out this Cabana Bay merch. So cute. Look at this shirt. And I love this coffee mug. Look at the pattern on it. But best of all, check out these towels. I love these beach towels. These are so cute. I think I might actually buy this before the end of the trip. Oh, mom, actually that matches your dress. It's so Look, cute. <laughs> maybe oh you should buy gosh. that. I must. And I really, really love these pins. That'd be really cute to just pin on your shirt or on your bag. And again, it matches my mom's dress. Look at that. Oh, I didn't notice this before, but there's retro cards. See? Oh so we can gosh. play a game of cards by the pool, mom. Oh, <laughs> so cute. How pretty. Also, best of all, look at these sweaters. Yeah, I guess that also matches what you're wearing. Did you do that on purpose? I don't know. But that's really pretty. Plus, they have this kind of sea green color. It's very retro, very cute. And look at this hat. Another thing I may buy, because I feel like this kind of goes pretty well with everything. Also, in case you're going to Volcano Bay and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot my swimsuit. What do I do? Welp. They got you covered. Look at all of these swimsuits. And they actually have a really good selection of swimsuits, I've noticed. They don't I always have, have that at resorts. These are pretty. I actually might buy this one. I like the purple color. Plus, if you're planning to go to Volcano Bay, they have water shoes here if you left them at home. And sandals, because of course you have to have sandals when you go to the pool. Okay, we're going to shop later, but I think it's time to show you guys one of our favorite things about this <laughs> hotel which is right over here. We are walking into the Starbucks. Look at this, this Starbucks just goes on and on. I think this is the biggest Starbucks I've ever seen. I agree, I love this. Yeah, and look at the cups. The little coffee mugs too in the front. These are so cute. Yeah, this has been a short trip. So my mom and I have been getting up early trying to make the most of our time. So we've definitely been to this Starbucks and we've gotten coffee it's been really helpful. I don't think I'm gonna get a coffee now. I'll probably get a cheeky drink over by the pool. Sounds but good. But we just wanted to show this to you guys because this has been really helpful this trip for us. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty hungry now. We are going to the Bayliner Diner. Has a nice ring to it, It I does. Think. I'm excited. Yeah, we definitely need a bit of a nibble now. So let's check this out. So first of all, there's a grab and go, of course. So you can get a cheeky drink over here, or you can get a couple snacks over here, like carrots and salads and sandwiches and even cheesecake if you want. Oh, and best of all, we've heard about this. You can get a s'mores kit because there's a place, I think outside where you can make s'mores. There's like a fireplace or a there fire. Is. Yeah. That's pretty nifty. Do you think we'll have time to do that this trip? We gotta come back. Yeah, either <laughs> if we don't, we're definitely gonna come back and do it. Yeah. But if you get the s'mores kit, it comes with the Hershey's and the, the graham crackers and the marshmallows and plus the sticks to go with it. Ooh, and look at these refillable souvenir cups. I might have to get one of these just because it's so pretty. So when I sit outside in the backyard, I can put my drink in it and I can <laughs> pretend that I'm at Cabana Bay. Okay, we're gonna show you guys all of the food options. First, I'm gonna start over here where you can get sandwiches and soups and other things like fruit and potato chips. 
So last night I ate here actually and I had the ultimate grilled cheese sandwich with bacon in it and it was so good. I'm even tempted to get it again today. It was so good. And I gave my mom half of it. What did you think, mom? The number one best sandwich I have ever had. Yes, I was just going to take a bite. I ended up eating the whole thing. Yeah, I brought it back to my mom. I sent her a text and I said, this is a 10 out of a 10. So she knew she had to try it. They also have a turkey with focaccia bread and pesto mayonnaise. That sounds pretty good too. I may order that. But let's check out the rest of our options just in case. Now pizza kind of sounded good to me. So let's look at this. We have pepperoni, cheese. Oh, they have pasta too, spaghetti. Alfredo pasta, classic cheese too. Okay, that may be what I order. Let's see, let's, let's keep looking. Aside from pizza, what do we have here? I think this is the international favorites. So we have jerk chicken, oh my gosh. An anahi tuna bowl and Brazilian beef. So that's international eats. And over here we have hot off the grill, which I think is burgers and fries and hot dogs and chicken tenders, which my mom might order. Ooh, you can even get a cheeseburger and shake combo. That sounds pretty good too. Okay, so I went for the turkey sandwich with the focaccia bread. I got it to go because I wasn't sure if I'd finish it, but as you can see, it's a very big sized sandwich. So I'm gonna give some of it to my mom, of course, to try. And I got this broccoli cheddar soup, which looks really good. It just kind of sounded good. And they gave me this biscuit to, to go with it, which looks very tasty as well. And my mom decided to go with the chicken tenders. You can't go wrong with that, right? And I might share with dad. Oh yeah, I mean, these look really tasty. And my gosh, they gave you like five of them. I know. Or six. <laughs> Hey mom, do you want some french fries with that ketchup? I know now. Maybe, I maybe. might just want the ketchup. <laughs> okay, I'm up first. I'm gonna try the soup because it sounds so good. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Mmm. Mmm. This hits the spot. It's really good. It's very hot too and very flavorful. 10 out of a 10 for me. <laughs> it just, it's really good plus I'm hungry. Okay, I'm gonna try the sandwich next. Gonna get a really good bite. Mmm, that's really tasty. Lots of turkey in here too and cheese and the bread is so thick and delicious. Big portion, definitely. I don't think I can finish all of this. It's definitely healthier than the sandwich I had here last night, but that was really good too. But this is also a 10 out of a 10 for me. This is really delicious. Also, FYI, they have fresh potato chips here. I had these last night and they're really good. Mmm. Okay, mom, you're gonna try the chicken tenders now? I am barbecue, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. All That's right. the gold right there. Really good. Really good? Really good. What would you rate it? Um, I'm gonna go with like an eight out of 10, okay. which is, that's a good thing. All right, how are the fries? If they had been a little warmer. Got it. So like an eight out of a 10, mm -hmm. seven out of a 10, mm -hmm. something like that. Not bad though. So I guess the sandwich place is the winner, really. I'm gonna agree. Two 10 out of a 10s right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, mom, what is this? It's a passion fruit cheesecake. I don't normally do desserts, but it called to me, so okay. I thought I'd try it. We'll give it a bite. All righty. What do you I think? I think I'll pass on it. Would you like to uh, try it? You know what, I think this time I'll take your word for it. <laughs> So what is it? Like a two out of a ten? All right, I'm gonna go take a hit Thanks. for the team. I'm gonna call it a five out of ten. Okay, five. Not your cup of tea. No, got it. But somebody else's. You never know. Well, that was delicious. I just want to show you guys what the dining area looks like, where you can sit. Because look at all this space, and also look at these cute little booths. And again, we've said it before, but we just love the color scheme here with this pretty blue color and this kind of peachy orange. Plus, I really appreciate this carpeting. Also, you can sit and have a little bit of a show here. They have clips from some retro shows here, as you can see. They were playing Flintstones earlier. And look at that wall. How cute is that? Plus, on the right side here, there's a whole nother place that you can sit down and eat. So it's just ginormous. Although not too packed at the moment, as you can see, we pretty much almost have the place to ourselves. 
And here's just a closer look at this mural here. Just so fun and colorful, like we said. I'm not sure who designed this mural, but I think it's a well-known artist, right, Mom? Yes. Wow, I haven't seen this area yet. What's this? Oh, you can watch Gumby. You remember of Gumby? Oh. I mean, I don't think I used to watch it as a kid, but I do know who Gumby is. Oh, who doesn't? I did. I did. I watched it. <laughs> well, I guess I know what our plans are for tonight, Mom. <laughs> Go to the parks and then watch Gumby and Pokey. grab a snack and a, maybe a drink. <laughs> yes. Okay, so this is what I look forward to when I visit a resort, the pool. You gotta have a little bit of time at the pool, right? I know, where's our time this trip? I know, the time is flying by, but we'll sit out for just a little bit. I mean, we've had some really cold days. We and have. And it's pretty sunny out now, so I for one want to enjoy the sun. <laughs> wow, I, I'm impressed already. <laughs> Wow, they have plenty of chairs to just lay out in the sun and they have sand. I always appreciate that at a pool at a resort, don't Look you? Look at that sand, it looks like it's just glorious. Fine. I feel like I'm at the beach, it's that glorious. Yeah, it's nice to have a beautiful day finally with all the cold weather we've been having. <laughs> Perfect day to get a cheeky drink. It is. And sit by the pool. <laughs> and I can't complain because it was only two days of cold. Oh yeah, we're not complaining, but this is definitely a nice break. Okay, we're gonna get a drink, but I just wanna show you guys the pool area really quick, which is, again, very spacious. Kind of a theme with this resort. Plenty of space to get a nice little chair and lounge out. Okay, just another look at this with the hotel in the background and all the colors. Not only that, but apparently there's a lazy river somewhere over there. Oh, I can kind of see it straight ahead. Not sure if we'll make it to the lazy river this trip, but kind of tempting to have your own lazy river just outside your hotel, uh, you know? Yes. Oh, the water looks so inviting. We were gonna go to Universal today and go to the parks, but maybe we'll just hang out here, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the hideaway bar and grill. So they have some food here too, and some drinks, which we are gonna get right now. Okay, so here are some of the drink options. We have the hot stuff, the fun in the sun, it's been real, a ginger mojito, a cloud nine. All really good options, but I decided to go with the cloud nine because a pineapple drink sounded really good to me. Plus, you can get any of these drinks with a floater. So I added a floater of dark rum. And here it is. Let's see if this drink really does put me on cloud nine. Okay, here goes. Mm. Cloud nine, for sure. 10 out of a 10. Well, that was a lovely drink. And now, where are we, Mom? Okay, we're at the Lazy River. We have a Lazy River. Oh my goodness, that sounds wonderful. So the Lazy River is a place that you can kind of lounge in a nice little rafty and circle around in it, right, Mom? In a little tube. The only rule with the Lazy River is no diving, of course. I mean, I guess that defeats the purpose of laziness if you think about it. I think. And the Lazy River hours are 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. That's not bad, actually. Today, and this is a Monday. So. Today on a Monday, yes. Mm -hmm. Wow, the water looks so inviting and glorious. We're definitely gonna have to come back here. So, just so you guys know, it does cost money to rent out a tube. $15, and there's kid sizes as well. You don't have to have a raft. Oh, you, you can don't. just go right in well, and Well, that's not very around. lazy. <laughs> I, I think I'd rather get the inner I tube. would just go for the tube. I yeah. mean, it's a little extra money, but otherwise you can just kind of swim around, and I'm there sure that's really nice too. Yep. But if you want to be lazy, then I would recommend the tube. And FYI, the jacuzzi is just around the corner and just over to the left of the bar. That looks really nice. Plus, look at that view of the volcano. As you guys know, that is part of Volcano Bay, the water park. And not only that, there is the beach view tower. Jeez, I feel like there's like a thousand towers, Mom. How many are there? Two. Two. <laughs> okay, two. Two's not so bad. And the two towers have the view of Volcano Bay. They both Bay. have the view of Volcano Bay, and you want that view. <gasps> you want it. Yeah, if you stay here, I would definitely try to push for the view because it's um, definitely nice to see in the morning and at night. Okay, as you can see, we are back inside. We're gonna show you guys the bowling alley. Yes, you heard me, there's a bowling alley at this hotel too. <laughs> I feel like this is beating Disney in every way. 
What well, do you think, Mom? Starbucks alone, Starbucks, guys. Starbucks, the drinks are good. The pools have a lot of space. I don't know, the next time we're in Orlando, we may come back here. It's so nice. Okay, so just a quick look at this bowling alley. You know, this looks like a lot of fun. I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm not a good bowler. I'm oh, like, me neither. No, seriously, I'm the worst bowler in the world. No, no, I am. No, 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 no. I beat you by at least like, you know, 5%. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't mean I don't love to go bowling because it's a lot of fun if you go with friends, you I know, know. I have know. a couple drinks or whatever. Even if you do a poor score. Even if you have, which is me like every single time, but you know, it's fun. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. And oh my gosh. I feel like this is the best bowling alley I've ever seen. Just a closer look at it. Oh, it's so colorful and pretty. Oh my gosh. Mom, maybe we should just go bowling. I know, right? Well, I can't beat anybody at bowling, but I can beat everybody at being the worst at bowling. So that counts for <laughs> something, right? Not only that, on this same level is an arcade. That is right, an arcade. Just a little peek at this too. <gasps> Oh my gosh. And it's empty too. This is like a dream, literally. This is a retro dream right here. This is a huge arcade. Wow, look at all this, guys. Oh, there's even a minion game. Oh, look at this Transformers game. That's pretty cool. There's also a Jurassic Park game. Okay, I'll add this onto our plans for tonight because this place looks fabulous. Oh, and check this out. Okay, this kind of bowling I'm good at, the pretend bowling. This I can score pretty high at usually. Maybe we'll play that game later and maybe I can win one of these fabulous prizes over here. Okay, on this same level, there is a physical fitness studio called, what is that, mom? Jack Lane. Jack, well, who's he? <laughs> Back in the day, one of the most important figures in fitness. Oh, okay. Well, can he get us back into shape <laughs> after this trip with all well, the- Well, unfortunately he has long since passed, oh, but he was in shape all of his life. Wow. Well, he has a whole fitness center dedicated to him at Cabana Bay. Okay, here is the fitness center. What do you think, mom? Does it motivate you to work out today? You know, when we get home, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. It motivates me to work out when we get home. I think yeah. that's a good answer. But if you were to work out on a vacation, this, this would, would be, be what one. I would imagine in my Look head. at the view. There's a beautiful view. There's plenty of equipment. It's giant. There's even an area over here that, I don't know, you could have like a Zumba class over here or a yoga or maybe and even like an 80s dance party. I don't know. <laughs> and Jacqueline Lane, one of his TV shows is on. Oh, well, okay, let's check this out. I mean, that is a pretty, pretty good workout. You can't go wrong with jumping jacks. Okay, I'm tired just looking at him. <laughs> he was famous for his one onesie type of workout I mean, outfit. yeah, those look super comfy. Maybe I'll start wearing those when I work out. I know. <laughs> okay, everybody. Well, we've enjoyed Cabana Bay, right, Mom? So much. But we're gonna head to the Universal Parks now. So I think that means it's the end of our video, but only for now, because we have tons of content coming out really soon in Orlando, in California, at movie filming locations. Who knows where you will see us next? So on that note, if you liked our video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps the channel out a whole lot. Plus it'll keep you guys updated. Okay, mom, what are we gonna do over at Universal Orlando or Islands of Adventure more specifically? Velocicoaster. <gasps> Velocicoaster, ah, like er, raptors and <laughs> scariness, oh my gosh. We missed it the last time we were in the park earlier this week, so we are gonna go on it now. Also, just to let you guys know, there's another pool here. This resort is ginormous. There's a lot we didn't even film, right, mom? Right. This has been my dream. This is my place, my retro yes. place. I can't believe it, every detail. Yeah, we've had so much fun here. We just, 10 out of a 10 for this resort, mom. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 20 out of a 10. 20 definitely. out of 10. Okay, everybody, stay safe out there, stay awesome, and perhaps sometime we will see you at Cabana Bay. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.